In today's video, I'm filming a first impressions and I haven't filmed one of those in a long time. I don't think I've ever filmed like a first impressions of makeup because I don't usually buy that much makeup. By the way, if my face looks a bit red, it's because I just did a workout. But I've got loads of makeup from Shop Miss A and I did do a haul in my last video, so go and watch that if you haven't seen that, showing the items, but this is like my first impressions. I have used a couple of the products before now and I will show you why I use them and the reasons for that. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a full face of makeup here and everything literally was either one pound or under a pound and it all arrived and everything came and I'm really happy with how everything looks. But yeah, this is my first impressions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put on this little headband, which I got from them as well. I've done my normal skincare routine by the way. If you um, watched my skincare routine video, you'll know what my morning skincare is. Um, but yeah, there's the headband, first impressions of the headband. Very nice and soft, I like it. Um, also, I got this ring which I showed in the haul. It's just a snake ring, so I'll pop that on um, like that. I really love this, I've been wearing it the past few days. I will also, just in a second, insert first impressions using three products that aren't makeup products. I did get this um, hair treatment so I'll show a clip using that in a second um, which is basically a hair mask I also got a hyaluronic no a hydrating face mask with hyaluronic acid um, which I actually really love that so spoiler for that but I will show you me using that and then also some coconut hair oil so they're not makeup products but I thought I would still give my like review of those now I thought I would discuss my first impressions of these products whilst doing a voiceover because it's a lot easier for me to do. But this face mask actually applied a lot different to what I was expecting. It almost looked like a clay face mask, but I really liked it. It made my skin feel really soft. So first application, I was very impressed with this product. The next product was the hair mask. So I just brushed through my hair and then what I first of all noticed about this product was that it was a really hard consistency and really weird. I've never tried a hair mask like this before and yeah, it was really hard to put into my hair and it didn't even make my hair that soft in the end anyway. But as you can see, I do look very confused in the clips as to why it was such a hard texture, almost like, I don't know, sheer butter or something. Um, but yeah, this is what my hair looked like after my shower and now I'm about to use the hair oil. So once I brushed through all of my hair, I applied some of this hair oil. My first impressions of this was that um, I didn't like it. It made my hair look greasy and now I've realised it's because I'm meant to rub it into my hands and then apply it. Whereas in this clip, I just shoved it straight onto my hair instead of like dispersing it evenly. So it made that area of my hair really greasy, but it did make my hair soft and it did smell really nice. So yeah, I just need to practice this product. And that's what my hair looked like when it was dry. Okay, now for makeup. By the way, my background is a little bit different um, because I'm just switching things up a little bit. Um, and also, it's kind of quite cosy here. I'm um, just drinking my drink, one second. Right, first up, I'm gonna use the primer. So this is the AOA Studio Aqua, hang on, is that correct? I thought that said Aqua, it doesn't. It says A-O-U-A. -A. Well, it says Aqua, no, it does say Aqua, but that's not a Q, I'm so confused. Anyway, on the back of this packaging, it says the Aqua Hydrating Face Primer and it says to apply a small amount to your moisturised skin before foundation. So I've got this one. I like hydrating primers, so hopefully I'll like it. It looks like the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm, um, which is good because I use that as well as a primer. But yeah, it's like a kind of, oh, it's like a gel. So let's pop this on. This will be good if you've got dry skin okay it's sinking in really quickly like that's what I'm like noticing straight away and yes my face is going red because I'm applying a product but don't worry it will calm down it feels kind of tacky it does feel what it says hydrating and it does um, but what I've noticed mainly is that it sinks into my skin straight away 
Um, as you can see, it's very glowy, but then my skincare was very glowy anyway. Um, I do also have another priming product, which is the primer spray. It came in a set with the setting spray, so I had to buy it as a two. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got this, but it was still like less than a pound or something anyway. And here is the bottle. I love the colour of that. And I'm just going to give my face a little spray. This will be nice and cooling because it's actually a warm day today. Actually, that is so good. Right, now I'm going to let that dry. Mmm! I actually really like the um, smell of that. First impressions of the smell. I very much like that. Spray is nice. It's not one of those sprays where you feel like you're getting attacked by the spray and it's just going everywhere. It's nice, fine mist. So yeah, that's really cooling. That would be good for summer. Now I'm going to do my makeup how I would normally do it. So I'm going to do my eyebrows first. So I'm going to use their concealer to like do a base on my eyelids and round my brows just so that I can do my brows and my eyes first so that it prevents fallout. And this is the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer in the shade Porcelain, which is quite um, a kind of light shade, but we'll give it a go. I have used this before and I've also used the foundation before because I wanted to try using it with a beauty blender to see how it blends. So when I do my foundation, I will compare that to a brush that I've got because I'm doing a first impressions using a brush as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. I need my mirror because I can't see a thing. And just pop that on my eyelids. I will do like a full face of Shop Miss A when I've like properly like learn how to use these products properly um, and then I can give like a full review of every single product this is just my first impressions um, so that looks like it'll be nice coverage I've also got an, a brush as well that I bought from them less than a pound absolute bargain um, and it's like a little fluffy brush I didn't know whether to use this as a like eyeshadow brush or a concealer brush but I think it would be better for concealer so first impressions of the concealer is that it is very full coverage it does look slightly cakey but not not severely considering it's really cheap um and it's blending really nicely it doesn't seem to be like drying sorry if my mirror is annoying you um but yeah that's actually blending out really nicely in terms of the brush i like this brush i don't usually like brushes i like beauty blenders because they blend everything in like real nice but yeah i'm liking this so i'm just gonna blend this in and then i'll get back to you because this is taking a little while Right, I think that's all blended. Obviously it looks ridiculous because the rest of my face doesn't have foundation or concealer or anything on it. But, um, yeah, that blended out really nicely and it doesn't look cakey yet. I have got a powder, so I'm just going to use my powder to set that in. And the brush that I'm using for my powder is just my normal brush. It's not first impression. I only picked up two brushes um, for this haul because I didn't need loads of brushes. So this is the powder. Um, this is the AOA. So there's actually different brands on Shop Miss A um, that this is just happens to be the one that literally every product so far is from. Um, but yeah, this is the Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder in the shade 153 Ivory. And there's a lot of fallout from this product. That's my first impression. There's literally powder just flying off. Um, which is not great because it means that it goes all over the carpet and also all over my trousers but if it like, makes the makeup last all day then that will be good I don't know whether to do a wear test in this video or whether to do a wear test in another like full face of shop miss a I think I might do a wear test in a full face of shop miss a makeup when I feel like I've got to use a product so this is just first impressions not wear test good idea okay i actually i'm really excited about this product so this is again the aoa studio slim brow pencil and this one's in the shade dark brown i think they had a few others they had so many products on their website like considering everything's like concerningly cheap they had so many products on there and yeah i was well impressed so i got this one side there is a brush okay that's not the correct side um one side there is a brush so like a little spoolie and that actually is just a standard spoolie. There's not really much of a review I can give about that. If you don't brush through your brows before you like do them, I would highly recommend that because it does make a massive difference. And I kind of try and brush my brow hairs like out or up a little bit. Right, now on the other side of the brush is the actual pencil. And I wanted this because at the minute I'm using powder and I just feel like it just makes my brows look just not like as natural as I want them to look. So I wanted like a really fine tip pencil like this so that I can try and just like, you know, make it a little bit more natural with finer kind of like hair strokes. So let's give it a go. 
I'll start off at the front of my eyebrow. Okay, I feel like I have to press kind of hard to get product off, but that's okay because I don't want it to be too pigmented because then you end up with crazy eyebrows. It means that you've got more control. Right, and then the tail, I want it to be, oh yeah, that's very good. I like this because it means that the tail of my eyebrow is nice and sharp and like pointed rather than just like a block. Um, do you know what I mean? Um, I feel like my previous eyebrows have not been the greatest. Right, I'll try and flick up the front a little bit and it just tries to make it look like it's like natural hairs. So you're trying to make it look like you haven't actually filled them in. I think that's pretty good. I will, that's one brow done compared to this one. I'll do the other brow and then after I've done my makeup, I'll come back to it if I need to. Um, so yeah, I'll just finish off the other eyebrow and then I will do my eyes. Done that brow. Do they look quite big? Do they look big? I think they may look a little bit big. Um, pop that a little bit there. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with them. I think they look fairly natural considering how my brows have looked in the past. If you've followed my channel for a while, you'll know that in the past my eyebrows have been um, a little bit questionable, but um, yeah. Oh, I'm just reading the brush. This said it's a high definition brush. So if you're wondering, this is a high definition brush. I think it came as a two with this one, which we'll try out in a minute. Um, but yeah, done my brows. However, I've just noticed that I have missed this product. So this is the AOA Go Brow Fiber Gel. I don't think there's a shade name, but yeah, this is a brow gel. So I think I will just use this to set like my brows in place. There must be a shade because this is brown and not everybody has brown eyeshadow, uh, eye eyebrows. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna try and pop this through. Oh God. First impressions of this, not much product is coming off the brush, but I suppose that's a good thing because Again, you don't want your eyebrows to be really like dark. But when I put it in the pot of the uh, brow gel, it feels like nothing's in there. It's only cheap anyway. Um, so yeah, done that. Right, okay. I think so far, like my favorite product is the brow product. I really love this and I would recommend, like this is less than a pound. Like just remember the prices of these items and remember how good that they are doing. Right, so yeah, I like the brow gel, but I don't think it's needed or necessary, but the brow pencil I really love. Okay, now we have an eyeshadow palette. Now this is less than a pound. This was 70 something pence for an, an entire eyeshadow palette. Like I was putting these items in my basket and I had like 30 something items in my basket. And if that was any other place, that would be hundreds and hundreds, maybe even a thousand pounds. This came to like 30 pounds. It was literally, I was like amazed. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get all this stuff because I can make use of everything and I will use everything. I'm a cheap makeup kind of person, but this makeup so far is very good. So yeah, this is the palette. They had loads on there, but this is the one that I chose. This is the Nine Shimmer Palette and don't, oh yeah, it's in the shade, no. The name of the palette is Midnight Queen. So it's just like a nighttime kind of vibed palette, which I kind of get, but I got this because I thought I would get shades that I don't currently necessarily have and things that I just thought that I would be able to do like a nice little look with. So first of all, what I noticed from this straight away is that all of them are shimmers apart from this orange shade, which is not great because I tend to work with matte shades mainly anyway, but We'll, we'll just try. So it means I'm probably gonna end up putting um, shimmery shades in the crease, but you know, we'll just have to do that. It's only 70 some at P. So I'm gonna take this orangey shade, like brownie shade, and use that as a transition. I need my mirror. Yeah, we're gonna use this as a transition shade. And yeah, that's nice. It's not overly pigmented. I didn't take much of my brush anyway, um, but yeah, that's nice. There's not too much fallout actually, which I was surprised at, because usually with cheap eyeshadows, um, you do get a lot of fallout. Right, that's it. That's blended nicely. I like that shade, um, but now we're gonna have to go in with shimmers. I'm just gonna use my finger, um, which is best to use with shimmers anyway. Hmm, I might do a purple look. I'm gonna take this purpley shade here. And pop that like on the inner part and then like build that up a little bit. I don't usually do purple eyeshadow. Don't know why. Right, um, it's 
seeming a little bit harder to blend but it's doing all right considering the price right and then i'm gonna take this darker purple oh god that's much more pigmented on the outside of the eye okay these shades do look like they're actually kind of similar okay they kind of just blended in with each other but i am struggling to get it to blend now we've got that i need to get rid of that on the back of my hand oh god this is what I always look like during the day, just have foundation on the back of my hand. Where's my, oh it's there. Right, I'll just blend that out a little bit just to get rid of any like excess. Maybe I'll take a little bit of this grey on the middle part. Oh yes, I do actually quite like that. That is a very good decision. So it's like shiny on the middle. Yeah, I like that, right, we'll stick with that. Okay, now I don't ever do this and don't know if I would say to do this but I'm gonna put a shimmery shade in the crease of my eye and um, usually I would never in a million years do that because and um, the reason why you put like darker shades in the corner of your eyelids is to make a shadow effect and if it's shimmery that's like counteracting that completely um but yeah actually that's blending quite nicely considering um I just wanted like a little bit of a darker shade just to deepen it up now that doesn't look too bad I like that this video is going to be a bit long, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll do the lower lash line once I've finished the rest of my makeup, but first impressions of this palette. I actually like it. The shades are quite pigmented considering how cheap it is. I have had eyeshadow palettes in the past, which they've really been like proper terrible. Um, so this is good um, compared to that. Oh, actually, also something that I picked up, which I kind of did swatch on the back of my hand and it is very pigmented, um, is this. And oh, this is a different brand. It says Amuse Cosmetics, and this is a, does it say? Well, it's, I know it's in the shade black, but this isn't like an eyeliner thing. So we've got like the gel eyeliner in here, and then we've got the brush. It actually looks all right with the brush, so I won't be able to talk through this, but I will just start to apply. So I'm not sure entirely how pigmented this is. I just got a little bit on the brush, and bear with me. I will try and do a little wing. Nothing too much because we might go a little bit dramatic. I might have to use a different, like a different applicator in future, but that's looking quite good considering. I might just do that, you know, I might just do a little line. That's applied really nicely. Oh my god, that's actually really straight considering I'm using this stupid brush that comes with it. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Um, but yeah, let's do the other side. That's when it could all go wrong. But I think if I use like a proper... Um, nice brush this would be really great product because it's so pigmented okay this oh god but can you see how pigmented that is and how easy that is obviously it depends on my application because I've just made that really long and this one's tiny I'm gonna have to go back onto this one now I'm like that meme where you do like add a little bit onto your eyes each side until eventually it's like up to your, your hairline but right, I think I'm just gonna leave it there Kind of try and blend it over. Oh my god, right, Jodie, stop doing that. Is that looking okay? If, if nothing looks okay, we can fix it later on. I'm super happy with that. That's very pigmented, this eyeliner gel. Um, really pigmented, glides on nicely, really easy to use. It goes on the brush really quickly. Like, I was expecting it to be like a really hard consistency where you have to keep like digging in. But no, it's really nice. So that is a solid winner. I will do a roundup at the end of the video of like what my favourite um, products are. My foot's so numb, I might have to, you know, come down a level. Right, I think the camera's tilted. But, whilst my foot recovers, we will just carry on. Um, so, I'm now going to use foundation. This is the AOA Studio Pro Wear Foundation. It says it's full coverage. You get 30ml. And what's the shade? The shade is Fair Ivory, so it looks quite light. I have actually used this um, the other day because I wanted to test it with a beauty blender to see how it applied so I could kind of speak about that in this video because I do usually use a beauty blender and it blended quite nicely and it was, you know, good. However, we are going to use a brush in this video. don't know how much to apply because it is actually quite full coverage. My initial impressions of this was that it was quite yellow toned, like can you see how yellow toned that is? and also it's quite thick consistency but we're not complaining so i'm just going to pop a little bit round and then we can build it up but yeah i'm going to use this brush so this is first impression of the product and first impression of the brush okay 
Firstly, I actually really like this brush. I think I'm gonna get along with this brush just fine. That's blending that out really nice, oh my God. But can you see that is actually really nice coverage considering that foundation I think is about a pound. I will add any extra coverage like where I need to. But this brush is nice. I would highly recommend this. Like I said, I'm not usually a brush person, but this is really quick and it's applying the product really quickly and it's blending this out really nicely and it blends it out much better than the Beauty Blender did, even though, in my opinion, Beauty Blenders do actually blend out foundations better than brushes, but maybe this brush is an exception. Someone outside is shouting. And then bring it down the neck a little bit. So... I think if I applied a little bit more product, that would really be full coverage. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit on, see how it builds up, and then see how that goes. What I like with this brush is that you can swipe it round or you can buff it in, which means to kind of pat the product in, um, which stops you getting streak lines. But yeah, as you can see, it is quite yellow toned, but it does match my skin tone fairly decently. Um, but we're gonna use concealer. By the way, the foundation builds up nicely very nice um right concealer we're just going to go in with the concealer that we used earlier on i don't know whether to use this brush for the concealer or the little brush that i've just used because this brush is kind of caking up with product whereas this one isn't maybe i could try one on each side right i'm gonna take a little bit of this underneath my eyes hopefully it doesn't dry quickly because then we're screwed I don't think I'm gonna like using this little brush. I might actually use this for eyeshadow because I don't think I like it for foundation. Oh my God, this brush is so nice. I would recommend this. If, I, if you want anything from this video, which I would recommend quite a lot of the stuff, um, then this brush is a winner. It's blending everything in really quickly. Like this is gonna save my makeup time by like half because a lot of, the time doing my makeup is just blending my foundation in. Well, this is gonna make me do it twice as quick. Yeah, the found um, the concealer is blending in really nicely. Doesn't look cakey particularly. I'm looking down at my mirror, by the way. Yeah, this is blending in so good with this brush. I'm so impressed with this brush. I wasn't a massive fan of this concealer when I used the Beauty Blender the other day, and now I'm really impressed with it. And I think it's because of this brush. It just blends everything in together really nicely. What I did notice about this combination of um, foundation and concealer though is that it is quite dewy. So throughout the day it is quite shiny. Right, I think my face is looking a little bit yellow but we've seen worse and we've had worse. Um, so now I'm just going to powder. I'm going to use that same powder that I used earlier on. The one that's just flying out all over the place and set that all in place. I just remembered. We will not powder just yet. Good job I remembered. I have a contour stick. This is a AOA Sculpt FX contour stick in the shade Earth. Okay, that's a random name. Um, yeah, I blended this in with my Beauty Blender the other day because I tried this again with that. Didn't like that. Didn't blend particularly quickly, so we'll try it with this brush. I'm just gonna pop a few dots down here and then get this brush and just buff that in to blend. I don't usually use cream contours or cream bronzers or anything. Oh my God, that blended so nicely. Like, look at that. That's blended up really quickly. Okay. Yep, definitely would recommend this brush. I'm gonna contour my cheekbones and then I'm gonna contour underneath my jawline as well. And then maybe a little bit on my nose. Oh my God, look how good that is. Okay, this is where it could all go wrong. Maybe this brush would be better to blend out contour on my nose. Yeah, that's nice. This is a nice brush for blending out nose contour. Well, at least we've found a good use for this one. Okay, that's done. Um, impressions of this, very nice, it blends nicely and it's a great shade for my face and it creates a nice contour. It means that I don't have to use a contour powder. And so yeah, we're gonna get back to powdering now, which is what I was doing, because we cannot use a cream contour over the top of powder because it just will make an absolute mess. 
It's mattifying my face really nicely. Just poke myself in the eye. Forehead. But like I said, I'll do a wear test in another like full face of Shop Miss A wear test video. Um, Cause this video would just be way too long if I included a wear test in this video as well. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, that's me powdered. I like the powder, nothing special, um, but it's nice. Um, if anything, it's maybe a tad cakey, but I don't really care about that. So yeah, right, I'm gonna finish off the eyeshadow. I might take a little bit of the light purple just underneath my eye, just subtly, like I don't want too much on the lower lash line. And then for the inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna take this like pale shade and pop that on the inner corner just to brighten that a little bit. It's brush it, no, not brush it, blusher and bronzer. Can't open this. So this is a two in one. This is the Amuse Cosmetics two in one blusher and bronzer. This one's in the shade, does it have a shade? It doesn't say a shade name. I can't open it. Oh no, here we go, right. Let's go in with the bronzer. It looks like it's gonna be pigmented. So I'm gonna tread carefully. Oh my God, it is. I've literally just tapped that gently and product is coming off. So I'm gonna be really careful with this. Don't want too much bronzer anyway. That's blending nicely though. Considering it's really pigmented, that's blending real nice. It means that it's gonna last a long time though because it's really pigmented because you only need a tiniest little bit of it. Right, now for the blusher. This looks like a kind of peachy toned blush. I think I will like this. Ooh, yeah, that's very nice. This is definitely um, my kind of shade. Yeah, that's very peachy. I like that. Yeah, it blends in really nicely. It's nicely pigmented and it's a nice shade. So yeah, I really like this. Considering this is less than a pound and you get two in one, that's really good. The bronzer's nice. It may be the shade of it is a little bit too dark for my face, but it's not a problem. I'll just use a little bit of it. The blusher, really like. So yeah, that's a great product. Now we have highlighter. Now this is actually a cream product. It's not a powder i thought it was a powder when i bought it but no it's a cream product but i've swatched this and it, it feels really nice it does feel really creamy um but yeah it's like ir like iridescent so it like shimmers in the light and i'm just gonna pop that over like this can you see that it actually is really nice but i'm just not gonna go overboard with this because oh lord can you see that you can see it better on this side I might have to blend that out a little bit. Right, I've just popped a little bit of highlighter on my cupid's bow and down my nose. That's nice. Look at the shine of that. That's actually really nice. So yeah, I like this. Not usually a cream kind of product fan, but yeah, like that. Right, what do we have next? Mascara, we're approaching an end. Um, so I've got two products for mascara. One is the AOA Fat Lash Primer, and then we have the Fat Lash Mascara. So we use the primer first and then the mascara. Um, the primer is like a white kind of colour. Let's pop that on. Oh god. That's a bit weird. I'm presuming that the primer will help the mascara stay on longer. Or it might make the um, mascara thicker. Who knows? Do I wait for this to dry or do I pop the mascara straight on? That is a very good question. Well, I'll pop this on anyway, um, just for the sake of it. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It says fat lash, so that to me means volume. So I'm just gonna apply the product as I normally would. You do also have to bear in mind that when you use a mascara, it does sometimes take like a couple of weeks for the mascara to get like to a stage where it's like really nice. Cause I think when you first use it, it's like a little bit runny and it's not its full potential. The first impressions of that is it has length, not necessarily a whole bunch of volume, but it's nice. Not the best one I've tried, but we're gonna do the other side and we'll see what it looks like. I think that looks so much better. Like, look how creepy that eye looks compared to this one. So see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, basically, my camera 
have maxed out its storage um, because I've been filming for that long, but we're, we're literally at the end, which is why that was quite annoying. Um, but yeah, I've done the other side of mascara. It is a nice mascara. It's not necessarily, I wouldn't say particularly volumizing, but then again, I will do like a full face of Shop Miss A when I've really got to know these products and when the mascara has been used a little bit. So don't worry, wait till then. Um, it might, you know, improve. But we're gonna do lips quickly. I do have lashes as well, false lashes, and I'm not a false lash person, but I actually really like these because I did sneakily use them yesterday or the day before. Um, just to quickly try them on, but I will try them in this video. I'm gonna do my lips first and then I'll do lashes at the end. So I've got this lip liner from Shop Miss A, which is LA Colors Auto Lip Liner, and this one is in the shade something i have no idea this i have no idea this is what it looks like it's like a brownie shade i think it had the shade on the website but for some reason it's not sharing it with us on the actual packaging um but yeah it's like a brownie shade so i'll just line my lips nicely pigmented i don't overline the bottom of my lip but i do ever so slightly overline the top. Right, now for lipstick, we've got two products left. Okay, this is the lipstick. I think this packaging looks premium. Like, doesn't this look like luxury packaging to you? Um, it doesn't feel it. It feels like quite cheap and plasticky, but it looks good. Um, so that's a bonus. But this is the Amuse Cosmetics lipstick in the shade. Why do they not include shades? It's so annoying. Oh, in the shade Smooth Whisper. Okay, I'm just not reading it properly. So it's like a nudey kind of shade. Very nice. Um, and we'll pop, oh my God, that smells of crayons. This is pure crayon. Oh my God. Okay, that's gliding on. Very buttery. Okay, first impressions of this lipstick is crayons, firstly. Then it's very buttery and like I think this will smudge all over my face. So in the wear test, that might be quite an interesting thing. Shade's nice. It's not necessarily the kind of shade I would normally go for. It's more of like a cool toned kind of shade. Um, whereas the lip liner is more warm toned. So maybe they don't go together too well, but I kind of like that. I think that's nice. I think it goes with the lips nicely. Um, so finally, I'm gonna use setting spray which is this this is the something something uh, aoa is that aoa i don't know it says a plus a plus setting spray that's what it says um so we'll use that if it's like the priming spray then i'll like it the priming spray was bl bl uh, the priming spray was blue this is pink so let's set this all in place and then we'll do lashes and then we're finished okay Ooh, again, like the smell of that. Goes onto my face really nicely. Can you see how dewy my skin is? Not necessarily from this, but considering I powdered, it's got dewy really quickly. Um, and for someone with oily skin like me, that's not necessarily the greatest thing. But I think it's looking quite nice considering how cheap all this makeup is. The, all of this makeup together costs the same price as my mum's foundation on its own. <laughs> so we're just, you know, gonna take that in. Um, but yeah, like the setting spray, like the priming spray because they come as a two. Um, now I'm gonna try it on with lashes. So this is what the look looks like without lashes. I'm now gonna attempt to put these on. These are the Cara Beauty 100% Human Hair. Oh God. Is that a good thing? Oh my god, that's kind of creepy. They're in the shade black anyway. That, that's, that's freaking me out. It means that, you know, it's not animal cruelty and everything, but I thought they'd be like plastic. Ew. Well, hopefully we don't get diseases. I'm joking. Um, right, I'll try and pop these on, but I'm not a lash person. By the way, I don't have glue either, so I'm just going to pop it on for the sake of this video and then take them off straight away. Oh God, how? I'm actually gonna put something up on my Instagram in a week or two asking for advice on how to apply eyelashes because that is not good. I managed to get it all right yesterday. Probably would help if I had glue to be honest. 
but they are still a little bit tacky. I will get some glue, don't worry. I'm not just gonna wander around with like these hanging off. But I actually really like these lashes. There is a high chance I won't be able to get them on, by the way. I think I'm just gonna have to leave that one there and do the other one quickly. I'm not doing these lashes justice at all, but can you see how that could look like kind of nice if I like popped it on properly? It's the front bit that I can't do. I think practice makes perfect when it comes to this. Okay, um, I managed to stick the front of this one on, so let's just imagine that it was like that. Okay, this is starting well ending badly um if anyone has any advice on how to put eyelashes on please let me know because these actually i think would look really nice if i applied them properly um what what's good glue how do i put them on and yeah i think these are really nice and i would recommend them but i just can't apply them properly um but yeah this is the, the finished makeup i'll take my hair down um i'm obviously going to take these lashes off because looking a little bit silly here um but yeah i will for my full face of shop miss a try and pop them on properly but can you see how bare my eyes look like now i've taken them off um but round up of this video favorite things i think the eyelashes have to be you know in there as a favorite um because they are the only like eyelashes that i think don't look crazy on me um but obviously i have to apply them properly um i love the eyebrow pencil so that's definitely one of my favorites from this also the eyeliner is really nice the eyeliner gel this brush love this brush that's a winner i quite like the foundation as well that is nice but i think my top three things is definitely the brush the eyeliner gel and the eyebrow pencil but everything is really nice nothing in this video is bad at all um the only things is probably the fact that the foundation is quite chewy but you know we're we're okay um i also really like the hyaluronic um acid face mask that's really nice as well and obviously this little floppy headband um but yeah that's everything for this video sorry if this video was really long i did not expect it to be this long i think it's because i was just testing so many products but yeah this is the finished look i think it does look better with lashes on um but i will come back to you um in the future when i can apply the lashes properly so yeah thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i will film a full face of shop mr a very soon and a wear test so stay tuned for that and i'll see you in my next video goodbye